I'm Chap Briard, CEO of Monroe Office Equipment. Thank you for giving us a moment of your time to present to you one of our many office products designed to control your current cost and at the same time make your office more productive and efficient. This demonstration will be informative without the use of technical terms that honestly we don't expect you to know. We will present to you the features and benefits of the machine that you can relate to in your day-to-day -day world, including the printing, scanning, and copying aspects. Please feel free to call me personally at 388-4600 should you have any additional questions. Hi, my name is Darren Denny, Sales Support Manager for Munro Office Equipment. I've been working for Munro Office Equipment for 10 years now. What I'd like to introduce to you today is the Ricoh WX4130N Short Throw Projector. Uh, it has been launched now since February. This is our first time uh, that we've had it. We've had it for now two weeks and been able to play with it. And there's some significant difference between a short throw projector and a standard projector. If you've ever been in a meeting and somebody set up a projector, they get up in front of it and there's always shadows in front of your projection. Uh, this device only has to be between 6 and 12 inches away from a wall, allowing for the projection to be between a 48 inch projection all the way to an 80 inch projection and you don't have any fear of a bunch of shadows in the way of the projection. So what you can see is, is if you're working on something in the office, you could simply stand here and, and you could be in front of it, however there are no shadows. You can walk back and forth and use your body like you'd want to, but there are no shadows in front of the, of the document that you're talking about. Uh, the device is designed to do between 10 and 20 people in any given setting. Uh, the nice thing about it is it can be dropped on your network and allows for multiple people to access the device and be able to share presentations without having to unhook a laptop, rehook a laptop, go back again, oh wait, let's boot up this and let's boot up that, and all of the downtime that you have with most meetings that you go to. Uh, the device also has a, a USB port allowing for external mouse or external drives. It has also in it an HDMI port allowing for a high def video to be projected. The device is 3D capable, so you can put a 3D movie in, a, in your player, hook it into the HDMI port with the 3D glasses and show a 3D movie. Um, you can see we're showing this on a simple wall here in our office. If the wall was white and a little bit flatter because we have a rough surface, it would be even a better projection than what we have now. Uh, it can also be uh, projected on glass, uh, so that can give you some idea that you could use it for a, um, a running video uh, commercial at your office if you need it to be. And again, no shadowing when you're standing here doing your presentations. One of the other options I'd like to show you about the projector from Rico is the fact that we have something called e-beam technology. The e-beam module simply hangs on the wall with a magnetic strip. You place it where you want to on the wall. It's designed to have double-sided tape. It just hangs there. And you have multiple of these strips that you can put throughout your offices or multiple locations. And because the product is completely portable, and what you do is simply walk up, hang the e-beam device, hook it into your computer, and what it's going to ask you to do is you need to toggle it in and, and, and a way that your pin now is your mouse. It allows you to draw, drag and drop the module wherever you want. And so now I can take my meeting and turn it into a very interactive meeting. Most people in their meetings They'll walk around, they'll have the gigantic poster boards with the post-it notes stuff on the back, make a bunch of notes, hang it up on the wall, hang it up on the wall, hang it up on the wall for all the stuff they've talked about. But the problem ends up being, where do you put all that paper when you're done? Who's going to write all that information down? Who's going to have access?